hello 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 <laughs> hi guys what's up um this is me alex again i will be your um, broadcaster for today i will bring you the most and the latest um update in the crypto world so just sit back and relax because i will be taking care of you right now so um maybe you're asking right now um what is alex up right what is alex up for today now don't worry yes i'm happy i'm just um you know making my voice low because i have a cuff and i don't want to be cuffing all the time in the video so guys all right um i will be giving you or i will bring you the most popular topic for this video okay um that it, this is a global news uh, regarding cryptocurrency of course now let's start so guys this is our news for today P this is brought to us by pcn or preferred currency news how bitcoin ethereum and ripple backed loans will change crypto so let's find out this is a really good question now the advent of cryptocurrency backed loans will have profound ramifications on the crypto markets although several changes and credit companies have tried to enter the space none of them have achieved market dominance the idea for cryptocurrency backed loans has existed for a while many icos have successfully raised money for the idea and currently there are several dubious companies operating in the space additionally there are also a number of smart contracts that allow for decentralized lending on the ethereum blockchain so that said none of these services have gained considerable traction the obstacles of um, establishing a reputable lending company are many and consequently the industry will either need to consolidate or wait for a large player to enter the market however once there is a major player these cryptocurrency collateralized loans would have a profound impact on cryptocurrency investors and users so these services would increase market liquidity make obtaining crypto easier and decrease the transaction cost of acquiring crypto so how crypto collateralized loans work now crypto loans work by utilizing deposit of Bitcoin Ethereum ripple or another major cryptocurrency as a collateral prior to obtaining um, a loan so a borrower is first assessed for credit worthiness um, oftentimes a borrower's credit score demographic data and online activity are assessed to determine credit worthiness so the score obtained from this data determines the loan's interest rate and the ratio of collateral needed for the loan now then a borrower deposits cryptocurrency and receives a fraction of its value in fiat or another set asset depending on whether the issuer of the fiat is an organization or an individual determines whether the loan is peer-to-peer -peer or a conventional institutional loan these collateralized loans are an important service for cryptocurrencies a robust credit industry around crypto collateralized loans would benefit adoption and reduce the complications associated with owning crypto so if a reliable well-regulated crypto credit industry existed it would benefit users in three main ways all right first reducing tax burden second providing trading um, trading leverage three easing crypto to crypto conversion okay now reducing tax burden first step right taxes under US generally accepted accounting principles and globally recognized international financial reporting standards are a major concern for cryptocurrency users transactions such as exchanging one cryptocurrency for another or using cryptocurrency to purchase a good or service trigger capital um, gains and losses now in the United States the tax on short-term capital gains is a whooping 30 percent many other countries have capital gains taxes around this figure 
by using an intermediary lender, a user can prevent these taxes. So if someone borrows fiat using cryptocurrency as collateral, purchases made with the fiat do not incur capital gains or losses. Furthermore, such lending allows crypto holders to spend fiat while waiting for long-term capital gains to apply to holdings. In the U.S., if cryptocurrency is held for a year or more as an investment, then those gains are given favorable tax treatment with a 10% long-term capital gains tax. All right. Now, second, providing trading leverage. Another benefit of cryptocurrency collateralized loans is margin trading. Margin trading is the practice of borrowing funds against a financial asset, such as stocks or crypto, to amplify gains or losses from market movement. Now, many major exchanges like BitMEX, Bitfinex, Poloniex, and Kraken already offer margin trading. No, However, the terms of this service can oftentimes be predatory with high collateral requirements, um, exorbitant interest rates, and unreliable service. Oh. Access to loans can provide another mechanism for margin traders to gain additional leverage. A competitive market for these loans would mean lower interest rates and lower collateral requirements. Okay, third easing crypto to crypto conversions the final benefit of collateralized loans is easing of trading friction trading friction occurs when it is difficult to directly exchange two assets with limited liquidity or when the cost of trading one asset into another are high an example of trading um, friction is when someone is trying to purchase an obscure altcoin using another altcoin because cost the liquidity in such a market is low then the spread on such a transaction is high meaning higher trading costs to circumvent these issues most users first can um, convert into an intermediary such as ethereum or bitcoin before trading into the other altcoin but this trade also um, incurs its own costs Lending services can ease trading um, friction. Furthermore, some players in this market are exploring crypto to crypto loans. These loans would allow a user to borrow one cryptocurrency against another, for example, using Bitcoin as collateral to borrow Ethereum. Oh, that can be possible. Wow. So these kinds of loans would increase the liquidity of these markets and consequently decreases transaction friction. However, to have a noticeable impact in trading friction, these services would need to gain more traction. Yes, I agree. Next, risks with collateralized loans. What are the risks? Although these kinds of loans offer a solution to some of the inconveniences of crypto, there are also a number of risks involved. First, margin calls on a loan from price volatility can penalize a borrower. Second, crypto-related lending is ripe with Ponzi schemes and scams. And finally, regulators can disrupt legitimate firms in the industry. Yes. I hate scams. All right, <clears throat> next, margin calls. Given the volatility of cryptocurrency, every time there is a drop in prices, there is the possibility of a margin call. So a margin call happens when the value of the deposit decreases and the lender needs additional collateral or requires the lender to sell existing collateral to cover potential losses. Now many cryptocurrencies that would be used as collateral for these loans are extremely volatile. Um, even if the price stands for a fraction of the second, it would be still trigger a margin call and liquidate some or all of a borrower's collateral <clears throat> next potential for scams as highlighted in a TechCrunch expose between one-third and one-fourth of the 3500 crypto backed lending platforms in china were either ponzi schemes were involved in police investigations or made it difficult for users to withdraw deposited funds wow these fundings are not limited to chinese lending platforms lending around cryptocurrency is ripe for scams, especially peer-to-peer -peer lending 
<coughs> oftentimes these companies operate on the um, fringes of the law and take advantage of the decentralized nature of crypto when these uh, unscrupulous companies go out of businesses those that suffer in the consequences are often the users if a loan provider were to default or worse yet steal user deposits then borrowers usually have limited recourse given that these companies usually operate out of countries with loose regulations next regulatory risk on the other end of the spectrum regulators themselves are also a risk of this industry entering major markets such as the united states europe china or south korea require an enormous investment in legal compliance okay now <clears throat> guys through the introduction of new um of new regulation or or the more stringent enforcement of existing regulation Regulators can seriously hamper lending companies as much as regulation is necessary for a fair and trustworthy credit market regulation can also be an impediment for legitimate firms. So now the future of lending. Cryptocurrency collateralized loans are a valuable service in this space. These loans would lessen the tax burden, increase the ease of trading, and reduce the cost of conversion for cryptocurrency users. Now, the market is ready for a legitimate firm to enter the industry. Whether that entrant is an ICO that achieves um, breakout success, an incumbent crypto company like Coinbase entering the space, or a traditional player such as a Square Inc incorporated exploring loans the industry is waiting for a reliable source of credit as the industry matures around cryptocurrency its uses and utility will rise with it as um, at its cores at its core the price of any technology is tied to the value it provides its users so financing and credit is just one more value add application all right so guys that has been the latest update all right that has been the latest update for today now if you like to have more updates and be updated and get notified every day please visit preferredcurrency.news yes guys it's preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now for subscribing you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates how you can subscribe using your preferred method you can use your paypal for monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month fiat or guys, if you like, you can use the Coinbase option that's only $180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto. Alright, now um, here, contact us. You can contact us through, um, through the website immediately. Um, your name and email is required and of course your message for us. But guys, if you like to talk directly to the man behind preferred currency news so here <clears throat> his contact details are available you can call his number at 1801-601-8105 whatsapp 1801-471-6939 skype id donald.fcda you can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto um, you can join our Telegram channel, PreferredCrypto.News, and you can send a private message to Donald Lewis at Preferred Crypto on Telegram. All right. So, guys, when you also subscribe, you can be one of our affiliates. So, just click this um, um, affiliate link, hyperlink. All right. And it will take you to this page. So, it will tell you what to do. All right. So, how or how to become affiliate. All right, so guys, um, let me show you what will you be getting with your $15 or $180 cryptocurrency, all right? Now, when you subscribe to um, Preferred Currency News, you can have a copy of all this one. You can visit this website as well. It's PCN.today. All the um, articles of the day is available. But how you don't need to remember or memorize the names of um the websites guys because 
the one that we will be sending you or the newsletter that we will be sending you we will make sure that um, we will be giving you all the information that you will need all right so first take a look um, the articles of the days uh, um, available all right so if you just click continue reading if what article would you like to read it will take you directly to PCN today right okay <clears throat> and next um, here this is what I'm talking about all the websites all right all the websites are here it's for you to figure out and for you to check what are those websites and what are their uses but don't worry it will be on the newsletter that we will be sending you if you like to check the um, for example you have read an article or a news and then you forgot and then you would like to remember it okay you can just simply um, click on these months and then all the articles and news will be there right yes so guys um, here all the informations are here but i would like and i am proud to introduce to you the donald's research list why here guys the donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet but only here at preferred currency news yes this information cannot be found anywhere else only here um, this is a spreadsheet with one spreadsheet you can keep track of every token or coin and their status right so it's really easy guys you just need to um, yes subscribe first and then open your um, open your email check for the notification that we will be sending you like the newsletter and then you can check the Donald's research list and the status of the token or coin of the days here not just one or your favorite token guys all the tokens are here so it is a complete list of tokens and coins and their statuses and that is being updated every day by Donald right <clears throat> so guys here what's special about this one it is only a spreadsheet but with a lot of information yes it is only a spreadsheet it is easy to use easy to understand and it will be easy to access right because it's a spreadsheet <clears throat> oh I'm I'm sorry it's not only a spreadsheet right because here this spreadsheet will give you the information that you need you don't need to open lots and lots of websites for you to check what's the um, status of this that specific that specific coin right so <clears throat> let me show you an example guys on this first column you can see the names okay you can see the names of the um, token or coin so you can just simply scroll down all right um, if you are looking for a specific coin so here Bitcoin Bitcoin is colored blue so meaning blue are showing best news here red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so when you subscribe you can have a copy of the Donald's research list every day so guys for the Donald's research list let us uh, let me give you an example <clears throat> as of November 14 2018 um, Bitcoin's recent price is six three six eight point six six four three nine zero six seven share of total um, market capital it's zero point three three eight three eight six seven three Google searches compared to the past seven days it's 82 percent 50 um, candle SMA movement it's crossing down 50 number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours squared volume versus price it's 7.55 seven days volume versus price it's um, 940.54 30 days um, volume versus price it's 64.05 and percent issued it's 82.73 percent right so <clears throat> guys that easy um, if you like oh where is that coin where is that coin okay if you don't like to scroll and scroll and scroll 
I have a um, solution for that. You just need to um, press Control F. Con again, Control F. That's for find, and then, for example, dab here, here. So there, for dab recent price it's 0 0.00657524 share of total market volume is 0 0.00001102 0 percent for google searches <coughs> it's crossing up 50 for sma movement number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours current volume versus price it's 89.06 seven days weekly volume versus price is 4.84 and 30 days volume versus price is 0 0.17 and percent issued it's 32.94 percent all right so guys that's it <clears throat> that's just an example of what will you be getting um when you subscribe all right um also guys uh, i just want like to remind everyone that we are not financial um, advisors so we are not here to give you suggestions or ref um, referrals of what to buy what where to invest all right no okay we highly recommend that you do your own research and decide for yourself all right Okay, so guys, that's it for today's news. Thank you so much for joining me with this video and I hope you liked it. So don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you, feel, if you will. All right, this has been Alex saying goodbye and good night. Bye.